Need some more gigabit ports on my network? Let's get started. This is a Netgear ProSafe 8 port gigabit switch, model GS108. Um, this is actually going to be replacing um, my Netgear 5 port gigabit switch. Uh, this is a GS605. Uh, I've had this for a little while and it's doing just fine. The only problem is that I needed more uh, ports for my network. Uh, I do have a Cisco 48 port switch but that's only 10 100 and uh, when I added that home server uh, the uh, 2012 home server or excuse me Windows Server 2012 Essentials box um, I want to make sure that I have gigabit connection to it for when I'm doing uh, backups and stuff so uh, I'm getting rid of my old switch and replacing it with this guy I would love to have like a 24 port or a 48 port gigabit switch but those are really pricey um, and uh, this is going to be just fine for now uh, in the box you get um, installation guide in a couple different languages warranty card uh, the actual switch which is metal case and this box is bigger so there's other stuff in here let's see Uh, nothing there <laughs> and um, well wart so your power adapter and oh, you actually get some mounting screws I guess if you wanted to mount this on a wall or something so you do get some mounting holes here let me put that aside and actually I'll put this aside too um, switches are really basic I mean they as you guys should know, I would imagine if you're watching this channel, that they just route uh, network traffic and um, I need additional ports. So, um, solid metal box. Uh, I opted to get a switch with the ports up front uh, because it's easier to connect into my network. Um, the 5 port switch that I had here had the ports in the back and it was kind of a pain to route the cables, you know, uh, behind and around and stuff. This actually is a little bit nicer for me. Uh, nothing very exciting. You get your status lights um, and your plug in the back. You do get one of these little uh, security plugs here if you're that um, crazy about somebody taking your gear, I guess. A um, couple of vent holes on the side and that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess the um, What's nice about this also is uh, it's uh, a green switch, so there's uh, let's see the box here. Um, yeah, so up to 60% lower power consumption, um, which is always nice, I guess. And uh, let's put this in uh, into service, and then we should be all set. Kind of a weird angle here, but I wanted to show you where the uh, new switch was in relation to the rest of the stuff in the rack here. Uh, this is the top of the rack. As you can tell, I've got my um, patch panel there and the uh, Cisco switch. And the new guy is sitting on top of the APC automatic transfer switch. Um, for now, uh, that'll do. Uh, I would like to get uh, some shorter network cables maybe in the future uh, to clean it up just a bit. But for now, that'll just work out and be fine. So definitely follow me on Twitter. Uh, you'll get updates on when new videos are posted as well as some high quality tweets from me. Definitely like and subscribe because that always helps me out. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.